Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix ping spikes and packet loss in any game you play, as well as show you how to lower your current ping. Make sure to stick around the entire video as most of the tweaks I show you are very important and can benefit you in lowering your network latency. Now one thing I want to mention before you start doing a bunch of system related tweaks is that your ping spikes or packet loss can just be a server related issue. What I mean by this is that the way your network works is it doesn't ping your game server directly. Your ISP goes through a bunch of different hot points before it reaches your game server. Now the issue with this is that if you get pack loss out of nowhere or some type of ping spike, especially if you haven't done anything within your system, this could just be a case of your ISP hot points just acting up. And another thing too, if you live in a country where the server isn't far from you, the more hot points that you use because the server is farther from you, you're going to need more hot points, the more likely you are to get these type of issues. Now to fix this, I would recommend using a networking app like Gear Up Game Booster. Please don't download any random gaming VPNs, so I'll have the link to this in the description below. But basically what this will do is it will use different hot points than what your ISP uses. And it also might reduce your ping as well as Gear Up Game Booster might find a more direct path to your game server than what your ISP uses. Another thing too is that this won't get you banned. They basically work directly with a bunch of games which is why I recommend using this. Now I know some pros personally that use this as well and swear by it so this is why I decided to look into it even though I have a bias against this. But this is just something that could fix your ping or pack loss issues. To use it all you have to do is open it up and then click boost on the game that you're playing on. If you don't like it you could just uninstall it. There's no harm in downloading it at all. If you do like it then you can just keep it. I have the link in the description below. Make sure to try it out because you don't want to be doing a bunch of system related tweaks and then it's just a server issue. The first trick I want to show you guys in today's video is how to set DSCP values. What this basically does is it allows you to prioritize your network packets to whatever game you play. To do this, you want to right click your internet on the bottom right, then click open network and internet settings, then click change adapter options. And in here, you just want to right click whatever you use, your Wi-Fi or your ethernet. Then click properties and you can uncheck everything in here you just want to make sure that internet protocol version 4 and qos packet scheduler is checked now that both of those are checked you want to click windows key r and then type gpd edit dmc gp edit dmc and if for some reason this isn't open because you're on windows 10 or 11 home then you could join my discord server and link in the description below then go to resources and then follow the guide by major geeks on how to get it but once you're in here the first thing you want to do is open windows settings and then right click policy based qos and click the advanced qos settings and then you want to go to dscp marking override check this box and then check ignored and then click ok now that you've done that you want to right click policy based qos again then click create new policy in here you can name this policy whatever you can name it to the game you play. I'm going to set this for Valorant. For DSCP value, we're going to set this to 46. There are other values you can set. To learn about these values, you go over to resources and then scroll up to DSCP values. In here, this just shows you the different DSCP values and their priorities. We recommend 46 because it has a low drop rate and low latency, but you can set other things too, depending on what you want. Now that you've done that, you want to click next, then click only applications with this executable name. Now what you want to do is load up whatever game you play, and then once it's loaded, you want to go over to task manager, expand the game that you're playing, then you want to find the game, and then right click it, and click open file location. Now that you've opened it, you'll see that exe for the game file. To make sure that you see .exe at the end, you will go to view and to make sure file name extensions is checked. Now that it's checked, you just want to right click the game with the exe, click rename, and then you can just copy the name right here. Now that it's copied, you want to paste it into the box, and then click next, and then click next again. And then here you want to select TCP and UDP, and then click finished. And that's basically how you set a DSCP value for your game. Now the next trick I want to show you is just configuring your interrupts with MSI Utility for your network adapter. To do this you'll need MSI Utility. To get this you could just join my Discord server linked in the description below. Then go to Programs and then download MSI Utility. 
Once you have it downloaded, you want to run it as administrator. And you should get a screen that looks like this. Here you want to look for your network adapter, it might be Realtek or Intel, doesn't matter. And you want to check MSI, especially if it has multiple IRQs, then you want to make sure that MSI is checked. As for interrupt priority, I really recommend setting all of them on undefined. I know some people have also gone better performance with all of them on normal, so that's something to check. But if you're unsure, just make sure to put them all on undefined. And as for limit, for your internet adapter, you want to make sure that this is set to 256 because you don't want to be limiting your network adapter messages. Once you do that, you just want to click apply right here and then exit out. Now, I'm just going to show you how to disable all of your network adapter power savings. To do this, we're just going to use this tool made by Sticky. To get this, you can just join my Discord server in the description below and then go to programs and then network adapter. This is a PowerShell file, so you're going to right click it and then click run with PowerShell and then open. Once it's open, you're going to select your network adapter on the top left and then it should load all of your network adapter settings. In here, you want to make sure all the power savings on the bottom right are disabled and then you want to click apply. You're going to look for colace over here and disable this as well. And then on the top here, you're going to look for packet colacing filter, disable that and receive segment colacing. You're going to disable that as well and then just click apply all. Or you could just click the apply button right here. Once you do that, you could just close out of it and then restart your PC. That's what I have for you guys on today's video. If you still get back loss issues or some type of ping spikes, make sure to join my Discord server and write in the chat channel or whatever channel you want. We'll probably help you out. If you want to see any more videos, let me know. Especially if you join my Discord server, I can cater to whatever videos you guys want to see. But yeah, see you in the next one.